The goal of the jihadists, whether they will admit it or not, is to Islamicize America. They believe the whole world should submit to Islam. So when they're coming into the United States of America, they want to see Sharia law be implemented. I have nothing against Muslims, but I fear the Islamization of our societies. What the Muslims have done in our country is use their democratic freedoms to gain footholds in strategic places, and so they then begin also to set the agenda. Islam, a religion of peace or a major threat to Western civilization? Those who insult Islam, and that includes Salman Rushdie, to Gert Wilders, the Dutch parliamentarian who just produced the film Fitna, are marked for death. I made a movie, a short film, uh, where I used um, certain verses out of certain surahs and then um, um, combined with real-time images of 9-11, of Madrid, um, of other most uh, terrible things that indeed happened within the Islamic ideology. For boldly speaking out on Islam, Dutch Member of Parliament Gert Wilders now has multiple death threats hanging over him. He also faces so-called hate crime charges against him by his own government and by The Hague. I believe it's five minutes to 12 um, in Europe. There is an enormous Islamization through mass immigration, through demography, and the so-called leaders we have in Europe are looking in the other direction. Islam is not there to um, assimilate. Islam does not want to integrate. Islam, at the end of the day, wants to dominate and has no respect for anything else uh, than Islam. I think Western nations in Europe don't know how to handle the Muslim problem. Uh, I think it's a problem that they are just not equipped to handle. I just don't think that they have got the backbone to handle it uh, properly. Of course, there are many peaceful Muslims, and some would point to existence of moderate Islam as evidence that Muslim theology does not present an inherent danger. But is that true? Radical Islam, I actually wonder if it's a misnomer. You talk to a moderate, and a moderate will tell you this, a moderate is a very small step away from radicalization. So I don't know, we use it as radical because it is politically correct. The question is, is the moderate, by his own admission, far away from becoming radical? A common question today is, is Islam a religion of peace? If we look at what is done to an apostate, someone who leaves Islam, even when it is a son or a daughter, he is killed. Can Islam be a religion of peace? The reason that you cannot see my, my face is I am an apostate. I used to be a Muslim and I recant my faith. And uh, in Islam, Islam calls for my death. With Iran seeking nuclear weapons to obliterate Israel, with Islam on the move in Europe and elsewhere, is there any hope for our world? The only answer to Islam and what's happening around the world is the gospel of Jesus Christ. There is no other solution. Many Muslims, or a number of Muslims, in Syria, in Jordan, in Iran, and many other Muslim countries in the Far East, have followed Christ and many want to, but many of them are kind of seeker believers and many are hesitant. Why? Because they see this punishment or this capital punishment of apostasy in Islam. Don't miss a special presentation by Coral Ridge Ministries Television. Radical Islam on the March, a Christian response to modern day jihad. Nationwide this September.